Ladies and gentlemen, this event one fall with a 15-minute time limit from Cleveland, Georgia, introducing Jeff Owens. Jeff Owens. His opponent, ladies and gentlemen, from Parks Unknown at 270 pounds, here's Moondog Spot. Moondog Spot. Moondog Spotty and Jeff Owens. Should be an interesting matchup. Look at that horrible, ominous thing that Moondog Spot just hung over the top of the ring post. That prehistoric looking bone. Bell's gone and we're underway. Let's go. Jeff needs to get some tan on that body and needs to get that body in the gymnasium as well. Oh, he went head first into the ropes and comes off. Spotty right on top of the situation there. Look at a scoop slam by the Moon Dog. Oh, nice maneuver there by Jeff. Surprised me. Hung on and took Spotty right over. Unbelievable spot Moon Dog doing a chance here. Wow. Welcome, champ. You know something, Gorilla Monsoon? It's a pleasure to be out here with you. And everybody around this whole town, all around the country, they're wondering right now, Gorilla, how come I don't have the world title with me like I always do? And the reason for that is, man, I got a big thing coming up with my main man, Mr. T, you know, and I'm carrying around my training belt day and night. No more world title belt. The only time you'll see that is just a couple seconds before I step in the ring. But day and night now, you know, I've been carrying this training belt around. Getting nasty, man. Street fighting. Going to the school of hard knocks. Uh, you know, man, just taking those cheap Things shots that are more important than the title on the line here. Well, you know, you're exactly right, man. You're exactly right. Exactly what's been going down with the Rock Wrestling Connection and the fact that Mr. T was there to save my life, brother. I saw the eye of the tiger in him, brother. I saw how hungry he was and how upset he was about the whole thing. Gorilla, check Mr. T out right now. He's out there with all those kids hanging out, handing out Mr. T buttons, man. You know, he was going to sign some autographs, but we hit the heavy back today. So many hours. His hands are all busted up, man. He can't even sign nothing. That's why he's giving out all those pins. Uh, it's just unbelievable what you, what you two have put together, what you two are about to do. First time in the history of professional wrestling this has ever been done. Well, you know, it's more than that, man. It, it's something that wasn't planned. We didn't realize we'd ever be teamed up again. It was fate, brother. When I was in Madison Square Garden with Rowdy Roddy Piper, I never believed Paul Orndorff and Bob Orton Jr. would take the cheap shots that they did. But since they did, and since they jumped up in my face, I was just happy to see the shining star, Mr. T. And you know something, Gino? Gorilla, that is. I like that name, Gorilla, better because we've been training with Gorilla Warfare. You know, a lot of people ask me, why'd you choose an actor for a partner? Well, a lot of people forget, man. Before Mr. T got on the A-team, he was a street fighter, Chicago style. He used to bounce at all the big clubs, the mafia. He used to fly the dude all around the country just to arm wrestle people, daddy. Standing amateur background. And that's it, brother. The dude's got a wrestling background, plus he knows all about street fighting. That's why he's my partner. That's why we're going to get the job done. And you know what? With the eye of the tiger, the way we're training, and the way we're staying hungry, I don't see anyone in our way. Paula, this is wonderful. That Rowdy Roddy Piper, you know, I kind of wish the bodyguard would jump in there because we got a man named Snook in our corner also. Wouldn't surprise me, Hulkster. And to me, guts is the number one thing on the side of your team, and I think that guts will prevail in the end. Well, you know, you're going to see a lot of that. You're also going to see a lot of intestinal fortitude, the same word. You're going to see a lot of physical clashes in the ring. But you know something? You might not see too much wrestling because we're going to try to do to them before they do to us, man. We're going to take charge take control and a lot of hulkamaniacs out there a lot of people out there want to see some dues paid back and mr t's the man that's going to get the job done look at this individual it's out of the ringside now t in my book is for tremendous and this is a tremendous team and I don't, I'm not going it's to the dream you. team, Gino. Gorilla Monsoon, this is the dream team. You know, Mr. T's got such a bad attitude. He's been nasty all week. All he's been doing is training, saying his prayers, and eating his vitamins. But you know something? Just these few minutes today, we shouldn't be here talking with you. We should be taking care of business training. But since all these little dudes were here, all these little hucksters were out here, Mr. T and myself decided to take just a few minutes out, take a little break from training, get the job done, save all our fans. You can't keep training all the time. You've got to take these little breaks and thanks for stopping by and giving us some insight. Well, I'll be glad to see you there at ringside I'll too. be there. Unbelievable. The Hulkster. Let's go back and take a look at what transpired while we were talking with the Hulk in this match. Body just
just got him up here and rammed him with a beautiful shoulder breaker down into the canvas, hooked the leg, got the one, two, three count very easily. 